Hello and welcome to the draw for the 2021 Vonius Village Cup. It's my great pleasure to be able to tell you that 347 teams have entered this year's competition, a record for the last decade, and of course it is our 50th year of the competition as well, having been founded in 1972. And thank you to Vonius Broadband for supporting it and sponsoring it this year. And it's also been announced that the final will be, as usual, at the home of cricket, Lords, on Sunday, September the 19th. And you'll be treated like international cricketers using the main international and county dressing rooms going and practicing on the nursery, being able to bring your friends, of course, as well, to be able to watch the final and, of course, be treated to the finest lunches and teas in the world game. So a very exciting prospect for the final on Sunday, the 19th of September. The draw is coming up shortly, but thank you to all the sponsors for supporting us and also, of course, for everyone for entering. The great Kumar Sangakkara is, of course, president of the MCC, and we're delighted that we've got a special message from him. Hello, I'm Kumar Sangakkara, current president of Malibone Cricket Club, very proud host of the Village Cup final since the competition began. I'd like to wish all the players and officials involved in this year's Village Cup the very best of luck as preparations begin for the 2021 tournament. I know how special it is to play at Lords. I'm sure everyone taking to the field for their teams across the UK in the early rounds of the competition will be dreaming of stepping out on the hallowed turf at the home of cricket for the final in September. There is nowhere quite like Lords, and for the two teams fortunate enough to reach the final, they will experience a day that they will never ever forget. I can vouch that. Good luck and don't forget to enjoy every moment of the competition. Okay now to the draw and it's worth just reminding you that the preliminary round is on April the 11th, round 1 April the 25th, round 2 May the 9th, round 3 May the 23rd, June the 6th for round 4, June the 20th for round 5, round 6 on July the 4th, quarter finals July the 18th, August the 1st for the semi-finals and as I said, the final on September the 19th at Lords. And by the way, all fixtures can be viewed on the website nationalvillagecup.com. So here is the draw for the Vonius Village Cup 2021. Scotland, round three. 1985 winners Froichi, the only Scottish team to win the Village Cup, will host Magel in the third round. Northumberland, Round two, Horton will host 1974 champions Bomersund in the third round, the only team from Northumberland to win the competition. We'd also like to thank all our sponsors, and here's a message from our headline sponsors, Vonius Broadband. Hi guys, I'm Steve Layton, CEO of Vonius, one of the key sponsors of this year's Village Cup. Um, I'm very pleased that we're involved in this competition this year. When, when I think of the typical English village, I typically think of four things. Think of a church, I think of a pub, I think of a cricket green, and because of my role here at Vinayas, I think of terrible broadband. Clearly the latter point is a 21st century addition to that list, but we at Vinayas would argue that access to great broadband is every bit as important as the other three. We all need that connectivity to work, learn, play and shop at home, and businesses in rural locations need it to keep up with their urban counterparts commercially. Our business here at Vinayas, you know, we see ourselves very much as the champion of rural broadband. It's what we do, and actually it's all we do. Our broadband services are now live in over 120 rural communities across the UK, and we're adding more communities to that every single week. In very simple terms, it's our mission, it's our purpose to bring fantastic broadband to communities that are effectively off the grid, giving them all the benefits and all the advantages that digital excellence can bring. Turning back to cricket, um, which is a sport I love, personally I've spent many a happy afternoon either playing or watching village cricket. I love the game and at village level there's a community feel to it that is perfectly aligned with our values here at Vinayas. 
The village cricket team is all about bringing the community together to achieve a common goal, primarily to win. And whatever your tipple is after the game, it always tastes a little better on the back of a victory, in my view. Taking part is important, obviously, but it's always nice to win. On that note, I'd like to wish every team in this year's competition the very best of luck. We've got a record number of entries this year, so it's going to be a tough competition to progress in, so you'll all need to be on top form. From a Vinayas perspective, there's no better way to welcome back grassroots sport than to be involved in a competition that screams community like no other competition out there. Good luck, guys, and I hope to see you all at Lords later in the year. Thanks very much. North Yorkshire North, round one. There are five former champions in this group, including 2018 winners Folkton and Flixton, who begin their campaign with a first round tie at home to Caton. Two time winners Sesse will travel to Moore's home, while 2005 champions Sheriff Hutton Bridge host Hensel. North Yorkshire South, round two. Last year, leading run scorer Tom Collins, who hit 524 at an average of 131, will travel with his Carlton Towers teammates to Earby in the second round. Now, here's a message from another of our sponsors, Theakston's. Hi, I'm Simon Theakston, Theakston's Brewery in Massam. I just wanted to say how delighted we are to be the official beer to the village competition. We've been involved with cricket for many, many years. In fact, we sponsor the local Nidderdale Cricket League here in Yorkshire. So cricket is very much in our DNA, going back many, many years even before then. And we would just like to say how much we are delighted to be involved with the competition. It's very exciting for us. And we very much look forward to saying hello to all the clubs and hopefully to interest you in some of our wonderful beers that we have. And we look forward to a wonderful summer of cricket. And we'd like to wish every single one of you every possible good luck in the competition. See you at Lords. Bye for now. West and South Yorkshire round one. 2020 group winners Kipax, who were forced to withdraw from last year's tournament due to a Covid scare, face an away trip to Thornton in the opening round. 2019 runners Howden Main are also on the road, heading to Crossbank Meths. In Cumbria and North Lancashire round one, 2013 winners Cleeter have been handed a bye as Great Eccleston travel to Sabden. South Lancashire, round two. If 2011 champions Woodhouses win at Croston Sports in the first round, they'll host Fooleridge in the second. Cheshire and Quid, round one. Two-time winners Caldy, who are celebrating their centenary this year, will travel to Irby in the opening round. Derbyshire, round two. Five-time Lords finalist Elverston will host Brailsford in the first round, with Homersfield, who have been awarded a bye, waiting in the second. West Midlands, round three. Milford Hall reached the last 16 in 2020 and will need to defeat Hodnett and Peplow to qualify for the regional final. East Midlands, round one. Caster and Aylesworth reached the regional final last year and they start their campaign with the visit of Cropwell in the first round. Warwickshire, round three. Temple Grafton will face a trip to either Bulkington or Water Orton in the third round. Worcestershire, round two. Two-time runners-up Atswood Bank will travel to Kempsey in the second round, while the winners of Hagley and Exhale and Wixford will host Buffalo Barnstormers. This is a message from our sponsors, Bowler. Welcome to the 2021 National Village Cup draw. Here at Bowler, as sponsors of the competition, we'd like to wish all the teams the very best of luck during this year's National Village Cup. We'd love to welcome some of you to our new facilities here in Bristol in the very near future when the pandemic is over. Try out our latest machines and we hope to see some of you at the final at Lords in September. Hereford and Powers round three. Colwall, the defending champions, face a trip to Brampton, Ryan and Leintwardine with the winner hosting Aston Ingram in the regional final. Northamptonshire, round three. 2020 winners Weekly and Walkton will need to win at Loddington and Morsley in the third round if they're to progress. Dyfed, round two.
Bronwyd travelled to Newby's Nayland in the second round. Glamorgan and Gwent round two. 2001 winners Yinny Starway will host new club Pontier in the second round, while 2004 champs Sully Centurions will travel to the winners of Lisvane and Pentrich. Gloucestershire round one. Cam will travel to Marshfield in the first round. 2020 group winners and quarter finalists Frosister have been handed a bye. Oxfordshire round one, including a preliminary round. There's an interesting first round tie here between two time winners Shipton under Witchwood and Jack Brooks Tiddington, who won the group last year, while their namesakes, Ascot under Witchwood, are away at Eansham. Dorset and Wiltshire round one. Two time champions Goataker will travel to Aldbourne in the opening round, while 2020 group winners Burbage and Eastern Royal will host newcomers Box. Buckinghamshire, round two. There's never been a winner from Bucks, something Winchmore Hill will be looking to change when they host Mersley in the second round. Bedfordshire and Hertfordshire, round one. Three-time winners Reed, who are no longer eligible to field their first team following their promotion to the Hearts Premier League, travel to Hare Street and Hormead in the first round. Last year's runners-up Redbourne have been handed a bye. Essex and Suffolk, preliminary and round one. There are 25 teams competing in the Essex and Suffolk group as newcomers Thorpe Ness travel to Great Totham in a preliminary round on April the 11th. Big-hitting Worlington, who we're used to seeing smash 350, 400 and plus in the Village Cup, will host the winners of Chapel and Wakes Colne and South Weald in the first round. There are nine preliminary ties. Surrey, round two. Valley End, the only team from Surrey to win the Village Cup, host Rowledge in the first round. The winners of that tie will welcome 2020 group winners Blackheath. Thanks to official partners Piper's Crisps, and here's a message from them. Hi, it's Jim Heinsen here. I'm commercial director here at The Cricketer, and I'm delighted to announce that Piper's Chris are supporting the Village Cup once again as an official sponsor. This is their fifth year of support. They've been fantastically loyal sponsors of the competition. As many of you will know, Piper's are the perfect snack to enjoy while watching or playing cricket, and they're all about bringing people together in communities across the UK, which is why the competition works so well. So on behalf of Pipers, the very best of luck to all of the teams entering this 50th edition of the Village Cup. Go well and see you at Lords. Berkshire, round two. Cookham Dean, the club of legendary broadcaster Jim Rosenthal, will travel to Pinkney's Green in the second round. Hampshire, round one, including preliminary. 2019 semi-finalists Sarisbury Athletic welcome Easton and Marta Worthy in the opening round, a repeat of the 2020 regional final. There's one preliminary tie. Somerset, round one. 2006 runners-up Timsbury host North Newton in the first round as last year's semi-finalists North Perrot are handed a bye. Devon and Cornwall, round two. The second round will see Tintagel host Roche in a match taking place more than 500 miles from Froshi in Scotland. Cambridgeshire and Norfolk, round two. 2015 runners-up Foxton will welcome Overstrand in the second round. Last year's group winners Eaton Soken are also at home, hosting Heatherset and Tass Valley. And thanks so much to the Lord's Taverners for consistently supporting the Village Cup, and here's a message from them.
East Sussex, round two. 2009 winners Glind and Beddingham will host the winners of Little Common Rambles and Rottingdean in the second round. West Sussex, round two. 2018 runners-up Liphook and Ripsley will host Balcombe in the second round. Kent, round one. Sam Billings, Forkham Guzzlers will travel to Upchurch in the opening round. 2020 group winners Beersted will also be on the road as they head to West Fairley. Good luck to all of you and don't forget all roads lead to that final at Lords on Sunday, September the 19th.